Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Waller's Wall. And do you? Do you smell that? That's right. That's the smell of more rewards. And this card now is going to give me what I feel is the ultimate quadfecta. So let's take a look at this card and why I decided to get it. Now, if you want a simple way to help out the channel, consider hitting that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn that bell notification on as well so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, when I was approved for this card, I posted a picture of the approval over my Facebook group and I asked people what card they think I got and I got some different answers, but I have plenty of detectives in the group and many people after looking at the font as well as the color of the writing said Bank of America and a few people said the cash reward card. Well, if you guessed the Bank of America cash reward card, you would be correct, but I didn't get the standard red Visa cash reward card that you see a lot of the times. I decided to get the Susan G. Komen version and there was actually a big reason for that. But why on earth did I get a third Bank of America cash reward card? Now, as I've told you in previous videos, I do have platinum honor status with the Bank of America preferred reward program. So I'm getting a 75% boost on my credit card reward spend. Now, not all cards are eligible for this, but the cash reward card is. And in order to earn platinum honor status in the Bank of America Preferred Reward Program, you do need to have a three-month average of $100,000 or more in your Bank of America account or investments with Merrill Edge or Merrill Lynch. And Merrill Edge is where I rolled over old 401ks, I have 529 set up for our kids, and I even have our other investment accounts there as well. Now, I think the Bank of America Cash Reward Cards offer a great value when you reach that platinum honors level because I'm earning five and a quarter percent on a category I select for up to $2,500 per quarter. And the categories you can select from are dining, travel, gas, online shopping, home improvement stores, and drug stores. And these categories are ones we use pretty regularly. And having a third card to earn another five and a quarter percent earning rate is absolutely great for us. Now, if you're looking for a full review on this card, I'm not gonna waste your time and do that here because I did that a while back and nothing's changed on it. So you can check that video out right over here where I even did an unboxing of the card. Now, by adding yet another cash reward card to my portfolio, this gives me a great quadfecta of cards from Bank of America. And while I have the Discover It and the Freedom card, soon to be Freedom Flex, the Bank of America cards really hit the categories I use most of the time and I get to keep earning five and a quarter percent on those categories until I change them. And I still use my other 5% cards for when the 5% categories don't overlap. But for most of my day-to-day -day spend, I'm gonna either earn 2.63% on my non-bonus spend, three and a half percent back on my grocery spend, and then five and a quarter percent on categories I choose from, and those really nail down most of my spending. And I'm actually really happy about that. And I get all of this for just a $95 annual fee on the Bank of America Premium Reward Card, which I actually calculate out to about a $15 effective annual fee for myself. So I find this setup completely worth it. And right now, my five and a quarter percent categories are for online shopping, dining, and this third cash reward card is really gonna be what I would call my wild card, if you will because we have months where we spend more for online purchases and others where we buy plenty of things from home improvement stores. So there will be no shortage of options and earnings from these cards and even certain travel purchases could be good as well because the option of five and a quarter percent is really good. And it gets even better when you consider the fact that cash reward card has no annual fee and I'll be earning a $200 bonus after a very simple $1,000 spend, which I've actually already met. And for how I travel, earning these types of earning rates make them a great option for earning great rewards and at the same time, not paying unnecessary annual fees. Then when it comes to the cash reward cards, there are actually different versions of this card. There's the standard red Visa cash reward card. You have the MLB version, the World Wildlife, Susan G. Komen, and the US Pride. And while it may seem those cards are just for show or offering you some pretty card, that isn't always the case. Some of these cards actually offer more benefits than others, and I didn't realize that until I started looking a little bit more into these cards. And these benefits can be extremely helpful, just not possibly in the way you're thinking. So let me explain it. Now, the Susan G. Komen card has the exact same earning rates as every other cash reward card out there. But when you're using your card, you're helping Susan G. Komen in the fight for breast cancer. And when you open up this card, Bank of America will donate $3 plus 0.08% of all purchases made within the first 90 day period to Susan G. Komen. Additionally, when your card member year resets, as long as the balance on your card isn't zero, Bank of America will give another $3. And while these figures won't add up much from just one person, 
the value does add up as others hold this card as well. And Bank of America has mentioned they've given over $10 million to Susan G. Komen, which is a lot of money for breast cancer research and fighting breast cancer. And there were actually two different offers to benefit Susan G. Komen, and I was a little disappointed the offers were so different. Now, I did sign up for my card through the Bank of America website, but when I started to look just a little bit more, there was actually a better offer out there to help Susan G. Komen, and I'm actually pretty mad I didn't use the other offer, because if you go to the Susan G. Komen website, the offer there is the same $200 bonus you would get as if you applied through Bank of America, but Susan G. Komen gets $200 for each approval until December of 2020, and that is far more than what they'll get from my purchases I'll be making. So this is just a long-winded way of saying that if you're someone looking at a cash reward card or even multiple of these cards, there are ways to help organizations out there in the process of you earning your rewards as well. And that's actually a really good thing. Now, I have a great rotation of credit cards and adding yet another cash reward card to my portfolio gives me what I would call a Bank of America quadfecta, which gives me even more earning power to earn five and a quarter percent on categories that benefit me most. And couple this with my other 5% earning credit cards, I feel I have an amazing cashback setup that will keep earning me great rewards. Plus, as I use this card, money will be given to Susan G. Komen to help fight breast cancer as well, which is always a great thing. So tell me, what do you think of me getting yet another cash reward credit card? Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in this video. If you want to help support the channel, take a look at the links down in the description below. And if you know somebody that could benefit from this video, feel free to share it with them. And until next time, Travel in the care.